great. <laughs> Hi, everyone. It is Ros Bandy here. Uh, sans Leanne, or without Leanne. Hold on, just got to get rid of that. I just realised I had the Facebook page open. And that in respect of trying to have a good broadcast is not a good idea. And I just realised I've got a very dull face. Hang on, let's see if that works. Is that going to be any better? Gosh, it's a dark night. It's a dark night. Hello, everybody. G'day, Dee. How are you? Now, I'm on my timetv.live. I'm on my YouTube channel. I'm on my Facebook page, Ros Boundy, and I'm also on my Facebook profile, Ros Boundy. So I'm um, pretty much, well, it's not all over the place, but it is uh, far and wide, so to speak. It's on those four destinations anyway. G'day, Tyler. And we've got Julie. G'day, how are you today, this evening, or wherever you are? I can't quite remember where you are, Julie. And Keza, it would be great if you could actually, as you're uh, typing up your first hello, just to mention where you're from. Uh, makes it a bit easier. So there's Keza. Whoops, I already did that, didn't I? And like Amanda's done, good morning from Connecticut. So being the US, you certainly are a fair ways away and on the other time zone as such. And I'm just trying to get my sleeve straight. Now, at the moment, Leanne is still in Adelaide so she's not going to be here at the moment she might it depends whether she's going to be back in time to actually connect in with us as a Friday's intuitive chat with Leanne and Roz but anyway what we're here doing I can do I'm just trying to think I'll do it this way go over to the card table as such and I can do it as, let me think, how do I, how can I do that where it's, this is some of the cards. There it is split evenly. That looks a little small, doesn't it? So I might go back to that. And what I've actually got here is the Curiosity Tea Cards. And this is how I used them for the Body, Mind and Psychic Expo. I took these along. G'day, Debbie, how are you? Um, we've got Keza, ah, here in Dalesford. Yeah, I've been over there once or twice. I think it was for a treat. It was a wonderful experience. Very cold in July, the first time I went over there. I think the second was in October. A much better time of the year. And hi, Sarah. Lovely to see you here as well. And Julie, you're in Adelaide. Oh, North Adelaide. Yep, yeah. yeah. And Debbie, you're in Queensland. So is it warm or cold up there? Because I know you have slightly different winter feel compared to what we do here down south, the Mexican way. <laughs> anyway, and we've got Barbara here. Oh, okay, hang on. I was just going to try and swap this around so that I'm the bigger one at the moment because I can do that that way. And then we've got the little, there we go. We've got the little cards in the right place at the moment. So um, we've got, Deb, you're, Debbie, you're saying that you've, well, that's good, goody good. Uh, two degrees now. Oh, gosh, and that's up in Queensland. No, Dalesford's, Dalesford's the cold place. Yeah, Victorian, not far out of Melbourne, north-ish. Are you actually in lockdown, part of the lockdown stuff? So it's one of those interesting things as we just going to <laughs> get those cards out of the way at the moment. I can do it like this, so I might do it that way. Um, are you in the lockdown zone? It's one of those interesting things I'm finding that there's certainly a lot of opinions around how, how governments should actually be doing this and whether it's the right way or not and even seeing some of that um, mm, mandatory potential for vaccinations for those in the aged care industry, I think. So, right, so Deb, you're in, whoops, hang on, let me see. Where am I up to there? Uh, two degrees in, in Dalesford. Whoops, I'm just going to go past there. So, Katie, you're in Queensland and it's cool nights, lovely days at the moment. 
And Kezi is saying, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's the cold one. Ballarat. Ballarat. Mm, that's even further east, isn't it? No, hang on. West of the Melbourne. It's before, just over the border a bit, isn't it? Um, anyway, into Victoria. Um, and you're lucky that you haven't had any at all. Yeah. Yeah, look, it's just such a really big incident. Uh, you know, it's a really big issue because of how quickly um, some of that, you know, the contagiousness and et cetera is the catchiness of it. Um, but anyway, yeah, no COVID. So there, that one. Um, I did, whoop, Central Coast, uh, that'd be warmish or is that the coolish? I know it tends to get warmer, doesn't it, up as it keeps going up close to the tropics. And I have no idea, Debbie, I have no idea where Kingaroy is. Absolutely none. And Queensland, yeah, D, you're up that far. So it's cool nights, cool days in Gladstone, Queensland. <laughs> close neighbours by 60K. Wow. Yeah, well, that's only a, only a uh, half-hour trip, isn't it? So, yeah, pretty cool. That's good. Um, yeah, so I haven't picked a topic or anything to talk with about, you know, to talk about really by myself. I actually have the end here, don't I? Uh, what sort of topics is it that you guys are actually interested in hearing? Or what do you chat about when you're talking with your friends? I know from the stuff, I, I don't want to keep going on and on with the, uh, COVID stuff, I know that I've decided that I'll do the immunisation factor. What, is that what it's called? Immunise at night. Um, vaccination. <laughs> Different thing, isn't it? Vaccination. Uh, four degrees in Ballarat. Yeah, I mean, that is cool. We are in winter now, aren't we? You know, so the weather-wise, I think we've done the weather now, have we? <laughs> I've actually got the tea cards here, so I think what I might do is for those who'd like to have a quick tea card reading, I'll do as many as I can. But it's interesting that they're not exactly the um, oh, uh, you know, they can be short readings or they can be long ones. I'm just reaching for this. I've got my little ring light. I think this little duva is going to be pretty much a. It's not going to be as bright as I thought because it's, um, whoop, I'm trying to get the light right. It goes flat pretty darn quick and it's not shining up on the cards like I was hoping because they are fairly, um, as you can tell, they're fairly shaded there and even with that glowing on, it's not working very well. I thought it would be better but it's actually going flat very quickly, that dev that little device. As you can tell, it's not very bright. Or oh, did I turn it down? Now, let me have a look. Now, see, that's as bright as it goes. Do you think that's bright? It's dulled down even more since I pulled it off the Mac. Ah, bit of a bugger. Anyway, um, where was I up to? So, Sue, so you'd like a card. Whoops. Hang on. I've got to go back to the right thing. Uh, I like to read the comments down as I go. So those of you who are on the same page will see some of the comments that are all the comments in that page. But if you're on the My Time, it's a different page. You won't see the comments from that one. It's I can see them all here to be able to put them up, but it's possible you guys might not be able to see it all together there like this one. So Kylie, I don't get any indication which of those pages that you're on. Um, hi, Kylie, by the way. And here we've got Debbie. It's so 210 kilometres, about two and a half, half hours drive northwest of the state capital, Brisbane. Oh, that's the one that was Kingaroy, is it, that you're at, I think, Debbie. Yeah, um, that looks right. <laughs> I could see that. So you're at Kingaroy, so that's a fair way. Oh, yeah, 200 k's is getting up there, isn't it, for driving. But we're a big country and we tend to be quite used to it, isn't it? So the yes, please, for the readings, I'm sure. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Um, more if you would like to have those. Let's see. 
what I do. Ah, oh, g'day, Simone. Lovely to see you as well. Wonderful to see you here. And Sue, you're after. Yes, please. Yes, please. I can see there, Tyler, that you had that uh, shed some light as to why a breakage cycle is continuing. Ah, things just, yep, okay. And here we've got Carla. Carla Boundy. Okay, where are you from, Carla? <laughs> I'm not sure that I've seen you here. The boundaries that I'm associated with, as far as my family name, originated from York Peninsula. Well, actually goes back a bit further than that too. So, and we've got Natalie. G'day, Natalie. Oh, lovely tongues. <laughs> Love that, Raywin. Lovely to see you here. Yeah, ki yep, King of Roy. And yes, please to the readings okay what i'll do i will start from the top and look if it goes a bit slow that's what it is so next time um you know as far as be here early and you're almost guaranteed a reading from me so there you go and amanda were you actually wanting to have a bit of a reading as well being all the way over there in connecticut us so here we go i'll just start from here and Oh, I thought, Tyler, you were the first one to ask for a reading, but might not be. I'm just going to start from the top and move down the list that I've got here because it's the only way that I can, really. So let's start here on teacup reading, that one, teacup card reading. Okay, just needing a little help. Now I'll switch this around on there so that what you've got is the cards and unfortunately, if it's a little bit dull, um, apologies, but that's the way it's going to have to be. I'll put that up and out of the way. I'm going to move that over there. This is all because of the magnificent uh, program called Ecamm, and I've got a Mac. So it does make a little bit of difference. Now, I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see this, though. So it's throwing the dice and I've got 10, 13 to start. So with this system, it's 12, 6 cards, 12 cards and 13. So the reading's starting here, Dee. And did I leave that up on the board? So there's the reading for D, And here we're starting 13 is this one. So what we have is the energy of, and that's really dull, I'm going to see if I can get another light. So if you can hang on for a sec, let's see what I can find to plug in because it's gotten way too dull. And I have had... Hmm. No. I used to have... Hold on. Is that a bit better? Uh, you can sort of see a bit better. Sorry about that delay. So I used to have a different light system here. Uh, like there was one that was another ring light. Anyway, what we've got, there is the cane. So that's the first card that the, is the main energy around needing a little help. So the canes are actually the help card. So straight away the energy is around help. And you're needing to take things one step at a time. Now, I'm going to be brief with how I describe these cards and the story it's creating. So from that one, we go, as you saw, there it is. It's a three teapot, blue colour, blue row three. And there it's verified with being the same card to create that story, the storyline that we're getting. So from there, we've got the taking a step at a time and it's moving into that energy of the home space. So it is relevant to having that help in the home space. Five, one, two, three, four, five, and it's the green row. So verified, and here we go. The next step is <laughs> the canes. So help is coming for that home energy. So being able to find uh, you know, settle and get sorted with a home is going to be sorted. The help is there because it's just taking the one step at a time. Because that then directs, see how that's the one blue row? That is now directing it back to the blue row and one. And because it has that first card now overturned, that is the reading. So there you go, D. Feel confident and know that that energy around 
your home is going to be sorted, having the home sorted, keeping the home, and now we move on to the next reading. So that's going to be just sorting. I'll clear these cards. You saw me do that just then. And I'm trying to have a look, see who is having the next reading, and that's Tyler. See? So we're going to progress very slowly along this way. And I like to place them on the heart card first. Makes no difference for how these cards get laid out or how the dice actually starts off the reading because that's how I'm going to do them tonight. And we'll just put them there because you're learning. I'm starting to know them, but it's a good way for you to learn um, with these cards. It is a system that is created by Karen Daly. And I'll get the guidebook. I don't use the guidebook. It's why it was still in its container in the way I pack it. So that's what they are. They are Curiosity Curiosity Steampunk. It's a tea card reading system and unfortunately it takes a bit for this flaming camera to focus. There we go. And it's by Tea with Karen. That's her Etsy shop name, Tea with Karen. And there is, if you wanted to um, <laughs> QR code it, I haven't got a picture of it, um, but it's Karen Daly. And I can't quite focus that one. Karen Dalton Smith is the owner and operator. Okay. Um, you might be able to pause and screenshot that screen afterwards once we've got the recording. So for you, Tyler, we're starting with six, three, and three, so that's 12. So that's this card here. And you're asking for some light to be shed on to why there's a breakage cycle continuing for you. What we've started on is the scales. So that's about finding the energy of the balance, finding the balance. And the breakage cycle is obviously showing up. There's going to be some good luck coming. So I would say that that will be broken as far as that cycle goes. So we move to the pink row or red up here, fourth card. And see how we've got that horseshoe continuing the story. So what you're going to have is a new pathway or something that is going to break that cycle. So it's a new direction. The pram actually does pull in energies that allow manoeuvrability and on the spot, on the dome, you know, turning on a dime type of energy for you to be able to break that cycle. So change the perspective to green. It's this card. See the verification. It's the following and continuing of the story. And from that manoeuvrability, you're going to have some abundance in a different direction, in that new direction that you're taking it on. So it can be if your desire is that you're needing to have some money for something specific, it'll be there. If it's some other abundance in a different area, it'll be there. So follow that dream, that new path for you. So that's the six blue as we're here, blue, the sixth card. There's the abundance and you're moving into being able to help others or ask for help yourself along that way. It's more from an older bloke, older gentleman because uh, I know that that's sort of what this is associated with is that more masculine energy, the strength, uh, holding the canes, you know, using cane, that type of thing. And being in that wisdom age of, of giving good advice and having, um, you know, that I suppose listened to in a way, but it's a choice still. It's something that you can choose to pick up that advice or not but in that process here we are we're going to be stepping up through the ladder now it's taking safe steps it's only the one step at a time you can't jump straight to the top so probably though that circle and cycle of what you're feeling in the breaking uh, things or whatever in whatever way it is that it will stop it's just needing to halt the process Going up to the three, oh, hang on, three blue, sorry, that's this one. Uh, halting that process and taking it slowly and safely. Having you focus on what is your shining star in that process as well. 
so that you don't have the energy being flitted all over the place because it feels scattered and chaotic. Just notice that one star in the sky that you're needing to focus on and having that guide you and bringing that back to being in balance. So that's how it's going to create for you that steadiness and cycle of the balance. So back to the six of um, the green one and it's bringing it back to that balance of good luck, having that being the process uh, one step at a time. Just take it easy. Ask for advice if you're needing to. So that's what your reading is for this one, Tyler. Okay. So if you've got any questions around, I'm just trying to find where the next reading is and pop down to, <laughs> pop down to, there's Julie's and I'll just go and see what other comments there may be. Tyler, you said thank you, Roz, for your time, energy, input. Take on a new family member. Taken on a new family member. Um, I won't put this up on screen because it's such a long comment. But you look, you believe that's the new opportunity, and quite right. New person, new energy within a home is like a new baby. So, and the pram being that indicates it as well so you do have an older man you go to for wisdom or event when needed you've taken a break from your own readings ah i believe that is the star appreciate it very much thank you so much for asking the question tyler it's lovely to have fellow readers actually asking for questions too do you know there would have been a time where i would have been totally intimidated um by that and knowing that you know there's another reader there's another psychic man asking me for a reading um, but it's one of those things we do start to, like I have felt for quite a long time now, that self-confidence and knowing that there is no wrong way to read for somebody. And it really is trusting what is that message that's coming from our spiritual guidance in whatever form that comes. And whether it feels like it's a gut instinct or whether it's just something that comes to us as channel um, there's so many different ways to receive the messages. So I have every confidence that whatever now I receive is what you're meant to be hearing in my interpretation, but knowing that you yourself will get what you need from it in your own interpretation as well. So um, it's really great to have you all on board, learning as you're going as well, because it's what I like to see people doing is opening up and learning at the same time as receiving. It's not just about getting a free reading. It's about you learning for yourself how easy this actually is. So, Julie, what would you like to have as your focus question, though? I'm just going to go very quickly and see if you've got a question there as a focus. And if someone's on my time or wherever that troll is to um, report, spam, ban, whatever you can do there. I can't do it while I'm doing the live stream. I found uh, the other day, I just can't do it. I get four comments in the list and that's it. It freezes it for me. So, Julie, I'll just do a general one for you and I'll throw the dice. So you've got six, four and five. So that is 15. So 12, 13, 14, 15. And as a general reading, you've got the energy of the ladder. So it's taking things a step at a time it's actually also a creativity and construction and being able to use those steps as a scaffold and uh, you're building things it's got that creativity you know painting walls putting up wallpaper whatever way you can imagine a ladder that's the energy of the possibilities of what this reading is going to mean for you and here we've got good luck in that so i'm sensing that you probably need to actually get into your creativity and actually start to do things that's going to express that and change up what is happening around you. Building your own tower of um, or creativity, building your own tower, like this is the tower card. So it's actually got that fantastic foundation. You can see where it almost looks like it's pulled up and become its own island in the there's one of those kids movies that i can remember seeing this type of a thing floating around and being relocated somewhere 
So it's almost creating whatever you wish and placing it anywhere you want in the form of your kingdom, in the form of your um, network of whatever you're aiming for in life. So, but it's using that fantastic foundation of, of you know, solid, deep, and replanting it. Moving over to the one pink is this card. As you can see, there's the card base. And it's creating that balance. It, it's finding what measure you want in your life to actually weigh it up to. So, um, you know, that on one side of the scale you put your weights and on the other you put what you desire as that measure against it. So if you have high expectations, make sure you're going to weigh it up against those high expectations to gain what you're wanting out of it, okay? Uh, it can be anything. So here we are with the scales and you've got the star in this one, in that space of looking to the possibilities as far as the cosmos is, wherever that star is shining the brightest, that's the one that you're going to have as your focus. Bring it forward and down to you into your energetic space to use that as the focus and the creativity that you're going to move toward. Here's the two blue in that card space and you've got the abundance happening. So feel that energy of abundance. It can just be in having a wonderful time with friends and expanding that, joining in with similar interests, an art group or something that's within your interest realm of like-minded people. And that in itself creates abundance and can be also in that money shift, being rewarded for what you're sharing elsewhere as well. Um, it could be that you're going to be building up and improving your own prospects for your job, for your workspace. Here we go to that six blue and there's the money card or the abundance. Wow, the web. Now a spider actually, but the spider creates webs. I'm trying to get that to focus. If you can see the dewy, the dewy aspects, normally a web is invisible. We all know that when we've walked through them, you didn't see them in the first place, did you? Because they're just so light and ethereal. When you see them against what is the outside aspects of dew or rain on them, yes, you can see the spider in this one, but most times you don't see the spider. They're waiting on the edges or hiding until they start to bounce with the, um, well, the prospective food that's trapped in them. But when you look at it, the intricate design, the individual aspect of how the spider creates this web and they really are no two are the same so you create what is your uniqueness in the pattern of how you're creating your web there she is or there it is and it's going to be something that you love to do so find that space of what you love to do bring it into your uh, realm of doing from the heart really love what you do. I wouldn't say with a passion, but make sure it's something you're enjoying, that you can grow to love what you're doing in that creativity with that focus of the star moving it forward. Three green is this card and we're moving it into being able to celebrate. So in whatever it is you're doing, it's going to be really rewarding for you that you can actually celebrate the milestones or the goals that, that you've created at that star level, the focus you're bringing into the reality of being able to celebrate it. So blue five is this card. And now we're back at the ladder, taking those steps and advancing. So there's going to be some growth, some gaining height, some importance. Make sure it's done with safety. But it's the one step at a time and having that recognition as you're standing above on that next step each time going up and up three blue here we are back with the good luck card see that there so that is your reading julie okay so have um good luck with that because you've certainly got the good luck in that reading and feel into the energies of what you receive okay and katie you haven't ever had yes please to the tea reading uh, I'm just going to see what other comments there might be below that I haven't as yet read because time flies past, doesn't it? 
and certainly there's some more that are there as <laughs> oh my goodness look at the number of trolls they must be having a good time <laughs> not much room for you people the legitimate people who are interested in having a reading or making a comment my goodness keza there you go you had bad times you'd like to know if you get better for you thanks now i think i've already done your reading and i'm sort of thinking oopsie uh, hopefully it did answer your questions that you have got in having improvement in what your life's bringing you okay so i'm just getting there going back to where i'm up to there uh, i do need to reshuffle these because so many cards were actually revealed what i like most with these cards is how quickly some of the readings can progress when there's only one or two cards read and one of the things i found so interesting on the weekend was when there was a reading you know people sit they, they sit ready to have their reading and the first one that i had not the first reading over the weekend but the first one that presented as a reading of this spread for someone was one card the same sitting on its own base card and i thought wow even with that one card i could actually get a good reading for them but i continued on with other questions because the initial question that they asked was answered so simply with even these cards being as you can see a really intriguing system and i'm very thankful that i came across karen's uh video it was just a youtube video i was you know how you scroll through and do that sort of thing sometimes and i saw this spread
Hmm. Interesting. I'm hoping I'm back live with you uh, because I'm guessing. Am I back live with you? Can someone please let me know? I'm just going to be over on my time TV dot live to deal with those. Oh God, is it blue still? Heck, heck, heck. Jeez, there's some trolls there. I'm just dealing with some of these. Hmm, okay. Let me know. I'm just going. And that was that. I can't bring up those comments. Yeah, it just does not let me do it. Press on Katie's reading. Okay. I can see. Yes, just now you are back. So I'm back. For the life of me, I cannot deal with those trolls. So that's I'll have to clean that up later. Thank you, everyone, for being patient through this. So I was back on, whoops, now half of those comments have gone now. Ah, oh, they've all rolled off on me because it takes so long. Oh, because I renewed the screen. That's a bummer for those in the middle. So we've got Sue's comments still there. No, you've not done it. Sorry, Keza. Oh, God. Um, yeah, thanks, Sarah. I've just seen that. That means all that were before those trolley ones, um, I've lost them. I can't see the comments. I have no way of accessing them at the moment. So for those who haven't had a reading yet would you like to it's all right hang on let me go over here um so for those of you who haven't had a reading yet i've lost the comments because i had to refresh the screen um the way it works is i'll lose them so if you haven't had one yet i'm just going to go clear that do write your name in there i'll probably know i won't have time to do them all and which is a bit of a bummer that uh, it froze I have had it happen before it's internet connectivity maybe or it could be oh who knows it's technology isn't it but please do I know I was doing Sue's but Sue I haven't got your comment there to put up on the thing anymore and all I've got showing at the moment is the trolley ones there's a Linda and Adagir. I'm not going to put them up, of course. Um, and others, of course. Sorry, Ros. Yeah, look, shit happens, doesn't it? We keep going. That's what life's about. It's the experience of actually rolling along with the punches. And really, um, you know, it's not the end of the world that we've lost some of this start that, you know, comments off a stream. They're still there. I can't bring them up into my Live studio because they have rolled back. Uh, I have got a good morning to from Michelle. So if that's morning, you're over in the US or UK or somewhere that ways. Sarah, thank you so much for reporting those. If you right click and ban, delete, whatever you can do with those comments is even more of an advantage. The more they're reported, the better the Facebook AI is supposed to handle them. Not that I have much confidence in that, I'll tell you. Um, <laughs> no, I yeah, haven't done it. Keza, oh, what a shame. I probably will go back through, um, if I've got time tomorrow, I'll go back through and actually see which ones haven't been read, gone through properly because of the glitch. So we'll see. Um, hopefully you won't miss out. Just let me know if you do. Um, I'd love to hear a message from my husband if possible. Now, Michelle, I'm doing these as the, now I was up to Sue's, I know that. So I've got hers here. I'm just going to finish that one off and that's where I had, where I could read where it was up to. So we'll go from this one. We started off with Sue's, it was the home space and focusing on what is, you know, that shining star for you, Sue. So move into that 
bring that focus into you as what is it that you're really wanting to wish upon a star for and bring that into your focus so that that is the picture that you're looking at as you're in your home space. It's actually going to open a few doors for you. So whether it's one door or two or it could be a drawer or a treasure chest or anything like that, what is it that you're actually wishing for um, and bring it into that realm of, you know, not just the possibilities but but the actual, that you've got the key to unlock that and move it forward um, into what are we moving that into? It's actually stepping it up and getting it moving. Creativeness and bringing that forward. Here's another the three <laughs> the three we've got the three in that blue row trusting that whatever it is that you're wishing for is coming forward coming true that it will be um, let it be as if it's already happening and here feel it right to the depths of your heart so that you you know bring in the emotion with it it's bringing in the good luck so have that positiveness about it don't even doubt it the four here we're moving it into abundance so what you're wishing for it's it's coming in bucket loads and you're moving it into that realm of wow look at the resources that you can store away as well camel store within their whole being ready for that next step to be persistent and keep going with it so move that energy into that space of expectation of being able to get there, that end goal. It is as if it is now and you can celebrate it. Here we've got some time for partying or just having those special moments with someone special, uh, with whatever's coming up for you. It could even be a celebration of a birthday, having a beautiful, lovely, lovely um, dinner that's, that's actually, you know, using the things that are a little more on the upper market end of it so that you know what that abundance is that you're pulling in you've got the resources for it and you've got the money to be able to spend on the party the dinner the whatever you wish for um bringing that into poor now with that you might need some help afterwards so i'd say don't overindulge in that so that you're needing the canes to walk out of it uh you know to get yourselves at home Here's the home again. So you will get there safely, but you might need a bit of assistance after the party, right? So that's the five green, which is this one, which is where the home is. Okay, so that was for Sue. <laughs> right, now, now I'll reshuffle so that I can get these for Michelle and we'll get them organised, okay? Was there anything specific, Michelle, that you wanted to actually ask as a question with it? Because with any type of reading, the more specific that you ask a question, the more value you're getting in the answer because it is more specific. And I'm going to have to take this little ring light off. Obviously, the charge for it doesn't last very long. It went black. Okay. <laughs> so here we go. And I'm just going to start to lay them down. See, it doesn't matter, this system, it doesn't really matter how well you shuffle them because you're laying them down in random order anyway. There's, there's just no way you're going to get what, well, I mean, there probably is if spirit really determines you're going to have it that way in a same order. But, you know, the likelihood of that happening is just near nothing, okay? Not very likely. So here we go. Um possibility of a message from your husband there Michelle so it's six and five is 11 so we're starting from this card here okay and it's the home card and celebration so was there anything specific coming up for you that really is a message from your husband was it coming up for your anniversary or something like that I'm gathering that there is the uh Whoops, there's still more of those trashy ones sitting there. Little trolls. I don't know why they persist. Um, so I think really it's it's about that celebrating. There is a celebration that you, that you have around your home space. Um, I'm feeling that it is an anniversary of some sort. 
and you've been able to I think that there has been wow what a wonderful web that you've woven together and that's what the celebration was for so it's still that possibility of further things that you're going to be able to create and continue to create that are going to be your world your individuality with what you're creating as well bringing it to a point of you know some of the stuff that you really need to cut out of your life now cut away though that that isn't needed anymore it's a two-edged sword so it can be the words that are spoken around you that you don't need to hear anymore it can be some of the chords of people that you don't need to be in relationship with anymore is what i might be sensing with that one that it's keeping those close to you know being in a circle of friends that are valuable for you not just because uh, it's been habit over time and it's hearing the same thing same advice from people it's taking on new pathways opening new doorways as well and that's what I'm feeling that that's going to lead to with the key and here's the four blue that's going to bring what is your shining star there's something new around the corner for you some emphasis that you can see and it does also feel for me that if your husband is on the other side now as far as these message you know the message that you're asking for is um, you know that there, there's some myth sometimes around the shining stars being the angels as they as we move from this space and place of physical body and become the angel soul freedom in the stars ourselves so just feel that energy as you're looking to the stars yourself that you know that he is around you at all times as well and there is your tower tower castle whatever you're making uh, you know whatever you're building upon um you know it's your basis the foundation started well and now you're building upon it under your own energy and using that because of the creativity of what the spider has brought into it to create that new path it could be that there is that well it's a new path of and you know baby uh, the, the baby newness uh you know being able to start something for yourself in that energy of family lineage as well something that will continue onwards yeah as um legacy is the word i'm thinking of there so here we go to green and it's weighing up what way you do want it to move for your own benefit and trusting trusting that what you're weighing up weighing into it as well is going to be the perfect balance for moving that forward you know climbing we've already had the ladder several times in other readings so it is similar in the energies of stepping it up a bit so that you're not um you know being careful holding the level ground but being careful um you know that that it's just the one step at a time but with that focus i'm feeling it really does need to be for your benefit for growing you and being in that heart space feel that for yourself and knowing that energy around you that your husband is sharing with you as well on that level here we've got the canes and i'm feeling that that from that love base is moving it into you knowing that you've got that assistance around and about you at any time that you want to call on it and trusting in that energy uh, whether it's your own psychic senses or whether it's uh, you know just that spiritual connection that you've had with your husband trusting that and uh, uh, bringing it into well bringing it into your home you've already got that as your home base anyway I feel that there certainly was a strength of love around and about you with your connection with your husband as well so the five green we're green here and it's moving it back to the home as we know there and that really is that uh, confirmation of connection in the celebration i do feel happy anniversary around that uh, whether you can confirm that or not there's something that is special that you're celebrating and it's reminding you of that um, and I can't see any other message confirming that in the last few lines. So I'll go back to where I was. And wow, doesn't time go really fast? Um, and Julie, you're confirming here. I'm just going to swap that around. You're confirming that. Oh, I didn't, didn't do it. 
and, and I'll just do that while I'm doing this. You're confirming that um, guidance that you had is resonating with you and what's happening in life. Look, anything that you're actually receiving through readings, you certainly need to, to take it in context of having your own connection tapping into it as well, your own guidance system, you know, whatever that be, whether it's gut feeling, whether it's your own intuition, psychic senses, clairvoyance, whatever way you're receiving it too, or spirit speaking directly with you. Uh, it's called clear audience. Oh, and now I'm starting to get some hiccups. So if you hold on a sec, I'm just going to go back to the comments. So, Julie, I'll hide that one. Sorry. Um, and, Ray, yours was the next one that I've got, and I probably might have to leave it at that. And we'll see how far I can get. I would say that Leanne has still been held up in Adelaide. Um, she did mention that Paul was chatting with somebody at the time that I messaged. So you know, they were hoping to be back home by the time that I started this session tonight. And, well, doesn't always happen as how we like things to happen, does it? But uh, it's always perfect timing for everything in the order that needs to be. So I'm going to roll the dice for you, Ray. And whoopsie, they went everywhere. So it's three and two sixes, so that's 12, 15. And here we are on this one. And we start 